let's take a look at using independent contractors. It is clear that a company cannot establish independent contractor status simply by labeling its workers as contractors. Nor do independent contractor agreements suffice to provide that workers are not employees. The details of working relationships measured against the criteria of the applicable tests of employee status are what matters. But this does not mean that agreements are useless. Companies using independent contractors should have signed agreements spelling out the terms of these relationships to avoid misunderstanding. Agreements also serve to document the nature of the relationship when that relationship is disputed, provided that the agreements are accurate and demonstrate genuine independent contractor status. Because right of control is a critical indicator of employee status, firms have to be prepared to relinquish most of their control over how the work is done if they want to use independent contractors rather than employees. This includes refraining from close supervision of independent contractors, directing or scheduling their activities, providing training or requiring them to attend staff meetings. The criteria for distinguishing between employees and independent contractors points to several other things that employers should do to establish the independent contractor status of persons performing work. It is not essential that every one of the following conditions be met, but if several cannot be satisfied, that's a good indication that the worker should not be treated as an independent contractor. First, require that independent contractors supply their own tools, materials, and equipment and pay their own business expenses. Require that independent contractors hire their own assistants. Require that independent contractors pay a flat fee for the work performed rather than an hourly or weekly rate. Closely review long-term independent contractors and do not assign new projects without reviewing agreements. Do not have independent contractors doing the same work that regular employees are doing or work that is central to the business that the company is in. Do not provide benefits to independent contractors, including pay time off. Make it clear that independent contractors are free to offer their services to others. Questions about status are especially likely to arise in situations where some individuals are performing work as independent contractors alongside others who are doing basically the same job as employees. Alternatively, an employee may be downsized or otherwise leave employment only to return in the guise of an independent contractor consultant performing the same work but with a different employment status. In general, employers should avoid using both employees and independent contractors to perform the same work.